Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Star Hepzibah Hadassah. It is such an honor to be here with you guys. Happy Resurrection Sunday. It is such an honor to be here, to be able to sup with you guys. Those of you who don't know me, I love to just feast on uh, the Father's Word. And I'm the type of person I like to share. I'm not greedy. So I come sharing the word of the Lord. I pray that you guys open up your hearts, open up your minds, open up your souls to hear what the Father is saying. His word is so good. It is so sweet. Today's message, he has come to bring us some correction. And it's because he loves us. He wants us to develop and to go deeper in our relationship with him. And so, listen, no matter what the message is, I am always um, just open to hearing what the Lord has to say so that I can get on board, so I can fix whatever is wrong, you know, whatever it is that I am not doing um, to the fulfillment of our Father, um, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh. You know, I want to make sure that I am walking in line with those things that he asks us to do in his word. And so I hope you guys are on board with me. As we all know, this is Resurrection Sunday. And one of the things that the Lord said to me was that in his dying, he didn't die for himself. He died for us. And he died for us because he wants us to have the key to victory. And this is for all of his followers. You know, it's important that we come into a union with Yeshua, the Messiah. And the only way we are able to come into union with him is accepting him as our Messiah, acknowledging that he died on the cross for our sins because we are not worthy, but he is. And so in, in his ascension, going up to a higher place, he allowed us to be able to take our position in this kingdom. And so the Lord is saying that the key to victory is in his resurrection. And so as he began to just dive a little bit deeper, the Lord was explaining to me that it is through his spirit. He came back anew and that once he transitioned, once he gave up the ghost on the cross, that was a permanent move. It cannot be changed. What he's done cannot be undone. And so glory to Yah Almighty that he has given his life for us so that we can finally get ourselves back on track. And so one of the things that the Lord said to me was, if we want to continue developing our relationship with Yahweh, if we want to continue going higher, going deeper in him, it's important for us to say his name. And so the title of this message is Say My Name Says Yah. It's about becoming even more intimate with him. It's not to say that you're not saved by his grace. It's not to say that you are not a follower of Christ if you are not using his name. But it's just to say that many of us have been calling Yah and Yeshua by their titles. But the father is saying that he wants us to become even more intimate with us. He wants us to say his name on a consistent basis. And so we're going to go to Isaiah 
chapter 45, and we're going to read verses 4 through 5. It says, It is for the sake of Yaakov, my servant, yes, for Israel, my elect, that I call you by your name and give you a title. And so let me pause there for a minute. The Lord is saying, don't let people tell you that titles are important. If they weren't, Yah would not have established them. All right. Now, it doesn't mean that we should become prideful in them. But it does mean that they serve a purpose, Yah's purpose. And so if the Lord wants me to release a message on that at a later time, I will. But picking back up, he's saying that he has called you by your name and he has given you a title, although you don't know him. And I remember when the Lord first started giving me Isaiah 45, 4 through, 4 through 5. This was some years ago. I want to say maybe like before, a little bit before maybe COVID hit. Um, he kept sending me to this um, passage. And I kept saying, Lord, you keep saying, I don't know you. I don't understand. Why are you saying I don't know you? And it wasn't until I began to like really seek the Lord and ask the Lord, what is it that you want to say to me? What is it that um, you want me to study? Because a lot of times we'll go into our prayer time and we're asking for things. But how many times are we asking the Lord what he wants to say to us? And it is now from this standpoint that I understand and that he goes on to tell us who he is. So going into the next part of scripture, it says, I am Adonai. There is no other beside me. There is no God beside him. That he has armed us, although we don't know him. He want us to get to know him. He tells us who he is in this scripture and many other scriptures because Yah is not just defined into one way of being. He is many things to us. And so the Lord is saying, whatever you have to do, get yourself some study Bibles. Um, if you don't have one, if you do start digging into the scripture and start asking Yahweh for his divine understanding because what the Lord is revealing and what he is saying is that names are very important. They hold value and they hold an anointing. Unfortunately, this world has tried to take the value out of Yahweh's names as well as ours. And we are all guilty of it. Even though I know him as Yahweh, even though I know him as Elohim, I call him Lord a lot, and he is Lord of all lords, but he want us to work on calling him by his personal name. He want us to take the time to get to know the many different facets of who he is, and he's saying that if we love him, we should desire to know him on a first name basis especially since he has given us the permission to do so some people don't even want you calling them by their names but the lord has given us his names and he wants us to use them the bible shows us that names are the characteristics of a person and it's yah's nature names are names are the purpose in which we are called by. Taking us back to Genesis, creation wasn't complete until all creation had a name. What the Father wants us to understand is it's Yah's message, personal message given to us. It gives us direction, it gives us purpose, it gives us authority, and it establishes Yah's will. 
Many of us, we try to name ourselves, give ourselves nicknames. Or just overall, we try to name ourselves. And what the Lord is saying, we do ourselves a disservice when we do that. No one knows you better than Yah himself. And just to kind of share a little something with you guys, back when I had, you know, my children, I did the horrible mistake of allowing other people in my life to name my children. The last two I named, but the last one, I finally got it right. And I asked Yahweh what name he wanted to give our daughter. And he gave me her name. When I was pregnant, I said, Lord, I've allowed everyone to have an input on what my children will be called. I never even stopped to consider to ask you what you wanted me to name our child. When we look at Proverbs 22 and 1, it says a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches. It says a good name. So every name is not good. Every name may not be appropriate. You have some people who try to take on other people's names, other people's authorities. And it's not to say that that name isn't a good name. But if it's not the name that Yahweh has chosen for you, then you are trying to live out a will that was not purposed for you. We should be seeking the Lord and asking him what name he has in mind for us. I had no idea when the Lord changed my name. I literally had no idea that he was going to do it in this way. Even though I read it many times in Isaiah, I believe it's Isaiah 42. I read it many times where he said, I will change your name. But I still, I had no clue. And it just goes to show we can never know the mind of Yah. I never thought in all my years that he would have me go public with a name change. And with that being said, guys, um, the Lord, see, he knows all things. Because he told me this a little while ago. Um, the Lord said to me, now that you have been reintroduced, he wants me to drop all the other stuff and just use my name. So you will see on the channel, um, I'm going to take down I am she and I'm either going to leave uh, Star Hepzibah or Star Hepzibah Hadassah. Feel free to call me Star. It's fine. But names are important to the Lord. In Genesis chapter 17, verse 5, it says, No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the father of of a multitude of nations there's a reason why he gives us the names that he gives philippians chapter 2 9 through 11 says therefore yah raised him to the highest place and gave him the name above every name that is in honor of the name given yeshua Every knee will bow in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And every tongue will acknowledge that Yeshua, the Messiah, is Adonai, to the glory of Yah, the Father. The names that he is bestowing upon his people are anointed. They're purposeful. So the last scripture reference that Yahweh wants me to share with you is Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. It says, Yah said further to Moshe, say this to the people of Israel, Yohe, Vahe, which is Adonai, the Yah of your fathers, the Yah of Abraham, the Yah of Yishek, and the Yah of Yaakov. Have sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is how I am to be remembered generation after generation. So he gave very specific instructions. And he said, 
Let them know. Moses, let them know. When you go to the people, let them know that it is I, Adonai. And so many, there's different versions that has um, the watered down version of his name, which results, it brings him down to just a title. But the Lord is saying, say my name. Yahweh has been dealing with me um, on this because as you guys know, I do reference Elohim as Yah. Yahweh but I say the Lord I have been saying the Lord a lot and I you may hear me slip up here and there but just so that you guys know I am working on it as I am hoping that you all will too but as the father as Yahweh has been speaking to me about this he allowed me to listen to this um a video by Ishan Burgundy, and I'm going to put it into the um, description box, and uh, I will put it in the um, comment section below. Guys, you got to listen to this. The way he breaks this down is just, I was like, Laura, I know you're giving me my own message to release, but I have to include this in there because I, I just, I love the way he he spoke on the names of Yah. I just, yeah. <laughs> um, I just feel like I can't do, you know, the Lord gives us things in the way that he wants us to deliver it. But I just love the way he taught and put that message together. So if you have some time, guys, please check it out. Listen, we are, this is Resurre Resurrection Sunday. We're going to leave those dead things that served us no purpose behind. And we're moving forward because Yeshua lives. He had a purpose so that we can live, so that we can live fulfilled, purposeful lives. So that we can know and become intimate with who he is and who Yahweh is. Let's not take that lightly. Let's really dig in and go deeper in our creator in Elohim El Shaddai he's so many things to us he's Jehovah Rapha he's Jehovah Elohim he's Jehovah El Shaddai we need to become more intentional on the things that we are doing as the Lord calls it to us right because some people Everybody comes to a place at a different time in their life. It's not to say that anyone is better than anyone. If there are believers or followers who are still referring to Yah as God, it just means he has not awakened them to using his personal names. But it doesn't mean that they're any less of a follower than we are he can still use us because he knows our hearts and he also understands that we develop differently some things i may be way ahead of some people on and other things i may not be right we are all in this together and the purpose is for us to you know as we develop in the lord that, you know, we pass it on, that we help each other. I just wanted to come on and be obedient. The Lord is saying, say my name. He wants to become even more personal. He wants to have an even more personal relationship with all of us. He loves us so very much. And it's time for us to get in these Bibles and like really start to dig through these scriptures Go to the secret place to see what he is saying to you specifically. Because it's beautiful. What he's doing is beautiful. All right. So I pray you guys have a beautiful Resurrection Sunday. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.